How can a beginner maintain their tent properly? Tents can withstand intense weather and natural elements, but they can also be damaged beyond repair due to unchecked wear and tear. Just because you're roughing it doesn't mean you're not going to take care of your camping equipment. Knowing how to maintain and repair the tent will extend its lifespan. We've put together this beginner's guide to tent maintenance where we'll give you some pointers on how to care for your camping tent before, during, and after use. Test the tent at home first. Make it a habit to practice pitching your equipment at home before venturing out into the wilderness. Check to see that you have a complete gear set. Attachments, man lines, and stakes must all be present. Test the equipment thoroughly and under no circumstances, at home or at the campsite, whip the poles around. Set up in a nice location. Camping at established sites more often than not means extending the life of your tent, especially when people follow the leave no trace ethos. Check for smooth, level, and clean ground when looking for a decent place. Remove any pine cones, twigs, or small objects that could damage the material where you wish the gear to be installed. Avoid areas near water and make sure you're at least a few hundred feet away from the nearest source. Washing. Hand wash the material as much as possible. Fill a bucket halfway with lukewarm water and soap and place it in the bath. Scrub the soiled areas with a smooth sponge or a piece of white cloth. Take care not to rub too hard in the areas where you waterproof the floor and the seams. The fabric should be washed and rinsed, then properly dried. Use soaps that are gentle and free of detergents and scents. Detergents may include chemicals that degrade the DWR coating, and scents will almost certainly attract insects. Be sure it's completely dry. You're familiar with the routine. When possible, dry the tent. Mildew will grow if the inside is even slightly damp. After a day spent outside, make sure there is no moisture left inside because you will be storing it for a while. Before you put it inside, roll it up. Simply cramming it will damage its form and put undue strain on the materials. Dry it again at home and then keep it in a loose sack somewhere dry and cool. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. Comment your thoughts down below and subscribe to the channel for more camping tips and tricks.